We are far away from the sea. We haven't got swimming pool in our house. Why do you want to learn how to swim? All you have to do is to concentrate on your studies. When you finish, no matter how old you are, you'll be able to learn how to swim. Swim. It's not in your nature or your physique. <laughs> I can't. I've tried. But I can't. When I was a kid, uh, in my primary school, on Saturdays, we had this thing that goes swimming or horse riding. And I did pick swimming once, but then I nearly drowned. So that put me off. Um, yes, I can swim. My mom taught me how to, from back home, Nigeria, where I come from. Like the, at a young age, anyways, like she asked me if I could swim, and I said no. And she's like, why? I said, because you haven't taught me how to swim. So she actually took me out one day and yeah, she actually taught me how to swim. Um, I can sort of, well, no, I can't really swim. I can do doggy paddle. So I, I couldn't jump into a deep end and swim, no. So if you ask the question, I sort of swim a little bit, not really. I would, certainly wasn't exposed to swimming. I think I was more interested in football and there was no, there was no pressure on me to do any swimming at that point. <laughs> I learned to swim when I was younger. Um, I'm pretty sure I stayed in the learner's pool though. Yes, I can swim and I've swam from an early age. I think I could swim when I was a toddler. My dad obviously helped me with swimming. So as far as I could, you know, from such a young age, I've always been able to swim and I love swimming. I can swim. I can swim. Um, I'm not the strongest of swimmers and um, I don't do it often anymore, I should do. Um, but yeah, I can swim and I made sure my son was able to swim when he grew up as well. At what age? I started swimming at the age of, I'll say five, six. But I stopped swimming at the age of 11 when I came over here to the UK. But that was due to the weather. There weren't a lot of swimming parks around here and things like that. And not a lot of people like to take part in swimming over here, so I really didn't feel like I needed to keep up with it and the routine just went out of my head so I just stopped swimming at the age of 11. <laughs> Cultural or physical thing, make a film called Black and Swim. Soundtrack in the new jack swing. Cast a lead in a floating ring. Is it a cultural or physical thing? Hey Frank. <laughs> it's your friend, Mr. Society. <laughs> 
I'd like to take this opportunity to say well done. Well done for being the poster boy for black non-swimmers. <laughs> you see them kids, Frank? You see them kids over there? They're the new generation. I'll make sure they'll follow in your footsteps and remember your name. We all know you don't like swimming. We all know you hate swimming. So why bother? Why bother? I can see it now. A whole new generation of blacks that can't swim. weather warning. Over the next few weeks the Met Office is predicting extreme weather conditions with sea levels rising. This has been caused by global warming with the risk of destructive waves hitting most of the UK. Swimming just may save your life. The three RAF helicopters under pressure as darkness loomed began winching groups to safety. People who'd simply been unaware the Environment Agency had issued a severe flood warning for the area. The floodwaters continue to rise, and there are now fears that people may have to be evacuated from their homes. Across the whole country, drivers have been forced to abandon their cars. The floodwaters rose throughout the day. Yo, 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 are you watching the news? Have you seen the flooding? Yeah, can you? Well, I can't swim. You know I can't swim. You can swim, so you're okay. But that... no, 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 no. I'm not going to calm down. You don't understand. You, you... No, no, no. This is serious. I didn't have any upbringing with the crew. You know, to be honest with you, as a child, um, I did my utmost to avoid swimming. But I have different reasons though. My reasons mainly because um, growing up I had a bad shoulder. So I was kind of like restricted with my movement on one of my shoulders. And for that reason, as a child, I felt a bit insecure. So um, I did other sports as opposed to doing swimming. Most of my friends, when I think about it, when I was younger, they had a similar kind of upbringing per se because they also did swimming lessons because of school. Um, but other than that, none of like now when I speak to my friends about swimming or like when they go on holiday, for instance, they're like they're not going in the water. They might take a few pictures in the water, but they're not actually going for a swim <laughs> because. Like, other people joke as well and say, like, oh, black people don't swim, like, even though, like, when I've gone back to Jamaica, for instance, like, islanders, true islanders, they, they're really swimming, they're, like, diving and all sorts, like, any sort of water as well, it's not even just, like, ocean water, it's, it's like, little pools or even like Duns River, for instance, or like valleys and stuff like that, they're, they're really swimming. My mum is from Barbados, so Barbados is a small island. So, uh, and if, particularly if you're born on the coast of Barbados, you tend to learn to swim. Um, so she was a brilliant swimmer. Um, so she taught all of us, well, tried to teach all of us to swim. Um, but it was something that I just never liked. And uh, somehow we were struggling around, someone pushed me into the water. There was an accident, but obviously I went in the water and I wasn't ready for it and I ended up you know, swallowing quite a bit of water. Problem is in this country, you do swimming in the winter and it's very cold and you go into these public swimming pool baths and they're horrible and there's kids messing around. 
and you feel I don't really want to do this. And as a person of colour, you know, first of all you've got your hair issues, because back in the days I used to have curly perms, so I was thinking, okay, I'll get my hair wet, you know, it'd get dry, right? And also, you know, back then it wasn't it wasn't seen the right for moisturizers. So for example, black males would, would cream their skin. So back in when I was younger, that sort of thing was what happens. You wouldn't take the creams to school. So you come out of these swimming baths, the skin all white. What, ugh, you know, so that put you right off. I have a phobia of if I have too much water over my head, you know. I don't mind the shower or anything, but if someone like tipped the back of the water over my head, I get into like panic mode, you know. <laughs> I think it's more like an African thing, I would say, where our parents, if I spoke to Frank and we're not even brothers, we come from different countries, but our parents would say exactly the same thing if we said, oh, I want to go and learn swimming, you know, they would just <laughs> give us a backhand or something. If you, if you think back, when I was um, 10, uh, I went to swim for the first time, I was in primary school, I think maybe nine, went, went to the swim bars with the rest of my, my crew, the students, and. Um, I noticed that the uh, white boys, especially some of the girls, oh my word, they were like dolphins. And I stood there from the side looking at that, I said, oh no, oh no, it's, it's too hard. I got in, the teacher would stand by the side of the swimming pool with his long rake, I used to call it, so he could rake me in and then would go once and would be tired. And then Jane would come out and do four of those and say, can I go again, sir? You know, and we'd be there and so, it just took us much longer. experience with swimming is I learned by myself not through my parents because my parents never pushed us to go swimming it was never I'll, I'll take you swimming you know summer or it was through going to secondary school that I went swimming I did swimming lessons when I was about five until I was about nine or ten I think my dad took me every Saturday. It's probably a bit of an unconventional way of how I learned to swim, but when we were younger, my parents used to uh, take in French students um, that used to come across to England for a week or two. Um, and so we used to have French students stay with us um, and as something to do, my parents used to take us to the swimming pool um, and neither me nor my brother could swim. Um, but over the course of several years, through several French students, uh, we learned to swim through them. I was quite academic at school and I was doing quite well and the teacher said to my parents, if you don't want David to do well, you need to get him into another borough or into a private school. You need to get him into something where he can really move forwards. We couldn't afford private school. So we moved from what was Tottenham and the heavily mixed ethnic area to Southgate. Southgate at that time, is in North London, was a heavily Jewish orientated area. There were probably about five black families in the whole area from what I can remember. I had to go from not wearing a school uniform to wearing what I called a suit. I had to wear a tie, I had to wear a shirt, and a jacket, and a blazer, and shoes I had to be clean, which was a standard thing anyway. But then we had swimming every Wednesday. So I learned to swim because it was part of my curriculum in Barnet. It was not part of my curriculum in Tottenham. friend of Mr. Society. Never take that life jacket off. Never! Have you seen the weather out there? You will die if you take that jacket off. Keep that jacket on. Have you seen the stats? Blacks can't swim. You're too heavy boned. You don't float. You'll sink. Keep <laughs> so 
So in the fifth year, myself and Roger swam, he was a bit better than me. But what I noticed is that both of us, where we were at the back, all of the other white students, they were, I, I won't even go far saying really good, but they were better than us. And we just found it difficult. But when it came to running, for example, when I was in the first year of Forest Hill Boys, second 100 meters, first 200 meters, first long jump, that was me. But swimming, not so much so, no. So he claims it's because his bones are too heavy, uh, which is the reason why he can't swim. Um, I personally don't think that's true. His mum was born in Barbados. Um, she could swim like a fish. Um, she swam in the sea every single day. Um, God bless her soul, when she was alive, me and her used to swim together. She could outswim me and she was twice my age. There's been a discussion and a lot of people saying, well, it's, you know, we got more denser bones um, as black people. But I don't believe that. I don't believe in it. I, I just think that's crazy. But we've got big bones and heavy bones and we do heavy lifting as black people. But I don't think it's due to that reason. I just feel like it's due to not having a lot of promotion to do with swimming, a lot of events to do with swimming. That's why a lot of people don't take parts in swimming. Not just black people, but just in general, a lot of people. Mm, genetics has nothing to do with it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a skill. Uh, it's like... Uh, uh, gymnastics, it's like driving, we not, the man is not natural habitat, it's not in the water, it's, it's on land, so if you want to learn anything apart from walking, or, you got to learn it, uh, the same way we learn driving and all that, so genetics or social demographics has nothing to do with it in my view. I just believe that our parents never really um, concentrated on the swimming part when in our younger years, in our generation. And I think that's the only reason why those black people or black people that don't swim can't swim. But there are a lot of prejudices and there's also, I was told you couldn't come to this one. I was told when I was doing adult lessons, the reason I couldn't swim because I was bigger boned. Which is, yeah, so that's, you probably have heard that a couple of times today. But another thing is, they swim as well. Some people look at the experience and think, oh, I can do that. I can go on holiday by the end of the year when, you know, and I don't know why it's so expensive. Steps away from the bar, not taking any chances. Everything I say is just tongue in cheek. Etiquette in the house. Make a film call, I can swim. Soundtrack in the new jack swing. Cast a lead in the floating ring. Is it a cultural or physical thing? Make a film call that can swim. Soundtrack in the new jack swing. Cast a lead in a floating ring. Is it a cultural or physical thing? I, I think it's, it's uh, one word really is down to priorities. I think it, it depends on where you live or where you grew up. Um, where your priorities are different in Ghana now, if you have a priority list, uh, you took you ask people for their priority swimming, wouldn't be one of them. If you live in this country where certain level of basic needs are already met, then it will be on people's priority list. So I think it is it's down to priorities in life. I don't think it, it, I'd seen as much of a life skill. <laughs> in the Asian community. Um, I also think from my own perspective, my parents were so busy working 12 hour shifts to earn money to pay the bills that considering swimming lessons for us was never a priority. See, every, everything you gotta push and fear and being ashamed that they're old and they can't swim, so it's easier to stay away. And that's what a lot of people shame.
man. Is that what I think it is? Yo, hold yeah. on, G. What? This ain't a bully, fam. What vest is this? It's, it's a life jacket. No, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah prevent me from drowning. What? Protect you from drowning? Yeah. Why are you wearing that on the roadside? Well, we, well, you must have heard about the, the bad weather reports about you know the rain yeah. falling and all that kind of thing. I, yeah. I don't want to be caught out in that. I can't swim. So, so I can't swim either, fam. What's that mean? Man can swim, though. I can't swim. Nah, man. Since when? You can't swim, fam. Apparently, no. though. You yeah. can't swim, fam. Yeah, man can swim. Come really? on, G. My mum taught me how to. Nah, man. You can't swim. Man I can't can swim. <laughs> Whatever. Man can, swim. man can swim. Nah, man. So, uh, so uh, yeah, at least you can swim. You guys, so, you guys, what are you going to do? So, if, if, if you're caught up in the situation with all this rain and flooding, what are you going to do? Just not wear that. No, trust me. Mm. No, yeah, yeah. Well, you actually feel comfortable rain down the roadside. I feel protected. I don't feel comfortable, but hey, like I said, I can't swim. So, if it's if it's if it's gonna save my life, then I'm going you to. You got a serious phobia there, bro. Yes. Uh, each to his own. Take it easy. Thank you. And um, why I think black people don't swim compared to white people is, I say due to the weather again, it's like the weather, the, a lot of black people don't see it as a sport thing, so no, a lot of people want to take parts in it. And because there's no lot of swimming parks around here, it's not out there for them to actually know, because no, a lot of people know the locations and the venues to take parts in these things. Like, let's say, for example, you talk about music, like I do music. You've got a lot of venues, shows and things going on. So a lot of kids end up there because there's a lot of events going on about music. With swimming, there's not a lot of events going on about swimming. And I feel like that needs to actually, I don't know, they need to talk about it more and help us out in terms of swimming. Uh, in a way, is that there's no um, figurehead almost. Um, you know, you look at like the Williams sisters in tennis or, um, Tiger Woods in golf, um, so even you know these very elitist sports, but there's still there's something to aim for. Um, Lewis Hamilton, Formula One. I think it's a cultural thing. I think for sure it's like it's just not. There's other things to do than swim. It's like I think culturally we just don't see it as a priority. Um, I think in Western culture. It is just more of a, I think also it's like a middle class, upper class thing to do. It's not, you don't really see people worrying about going to swimming lessons if they're working class really. They've got other things to think about. The least preferred, no infrastructure and the most difficult. So in my view, they just sort of turned away from it. And I think that's um, most probably a vast majority of us because I think if you ask a vast majority of black people, can you swim 500 yards? They'll look at you like you're from another planet. I feel that black people probably don't swim because of some of the factors that I've mentioned already. So hair problems, maybe even skin as well, in the sense of like some people I know, eczema and stuff like that and chlorine and like, it's not natural water really that they're swimming in. It's like swimming pools and places that are, people don't want to go there, germs and like stuff like that. Whereas I think it would be more inviting if they were like able to just like go to the beach and swim. I think that would be more inviting to them and they would want to kind of partake in actually swimming. That's why maybe abroad there's people swimming, but UK, black people generally, I think it doesn't appeal to them going to a swimming pool to go and swim. They'd rather just go to the somewhere that is like natural, I'd like to think. Well, I think one, one of the reasons is I think if your parents don't swim, it's not something that they're going to encourage you because they're going to have a fear of water. You know, and if you go in too deep, they're not going to be able to save you.
Hello, Frank. What did we say before? What did we agree? Keep away from water. There's zero chance of you drowning if you keep away from water. What if you fell asleep? Hey? What if you fell asleep? Who's around to save ya? Hey? You. Can't. Swim! I think there is um, quite a stereotype when it comes to black people not being able to swim because obviously black women is sometimes an issue to deal with their hair after swimming. I've got chlorine in my hair and I knew and I didn't used to like getting my hair washed when I was younger so I knew that was going to have to happen anyway because of the chlorine and stuff and I couldn't do that myself because washing my hair was not as basic as like my white peers for instance they could just go in the shower and just have a rinse whereas mine had to be a whole process every time I went on holiday it would be I have to come back have a treatment at the hairdressers next week have another treatment just to get it back to normal it's like it ruins our hair so much more than it does and like I see actually some of my friend was saying oh yeah I got like sea salt spray and I was like she's white and I was like that's such a weird thing that you would want to dry out your hair but it's just different hair I just you just don't think about those types of things <laughs> Hi, Julia. Oh, hi, Leila. You all right? Can I take a seat? Yeah, sure. Sit down. You're not supposed to be at swim practice today. No, uh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah? What's up? Do you still swim? Yeah, I still swim. Why? It's just my mum's pushing me to swim and... Uh, my hair, it's just, it shrinks up and frizzes. I don't even want to go swimming anymore. How do you, how do you look after your hair? Well, I mean, well, have you tried wearing a swimming cap? Yeah, I hate them. <laughs> like, they hurt my head. I can never fit all my hair in. I know, I mean, I had the same problem when I tried them, but... I got big afro hair and so trying to get it on, it's so tight, so I can agree with you on that one, but I mean, I don't know why they just don't make them a bit bigger, but that's just obviously the nature of swimming caps and stuff, but um, I mean, what, what I did, because I went through the same kind of hair problem that you did, um, I twist my hair or I braid it and I can put it up when I'm in the swimming pool, but as soon as I come up, I have to shampoo my hair, I have to make sure I condition it, I have to put some oils in it to make sure that you know the chemicals aren't penetrating into it too much. I have to really put a bit of more maintenance work into it and that's how my hair started to get back to health. So you kind of just have to put a bit more effort into your, into your hair when you come out of the water. Sounds so long. Well, <laughs> do you want to have hair goals or do you want to look like the crazy frizzy hair lady? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's just the nature of our hair. You kind of have to embrace it. Just put a little bit more effort into it and just put a little bit more work into it after you come out. You should be able to get your hair back to health again. I hear you. Thank you so much. And I love your head wrap. <laughs> Thank you. I just got this. <laughs> I mean, but is there anything else? Is everything else all right? Well, actually, I, I've got to go, so I'll catch up with you at a different time. Okay, well, no problem. You should be all right, so just look after it and you'll be cool. <laughs> my hair was a big problem for me growing up like obviously I'm a black girl so when I was younger especially my having thick hair and having to swim and having to try to from being so young as well fit my hair in the in the cap just struggling with that whilst like everyone else my own age they don't have to worry about that and 
hair is a really big thing with parents as well, especially my mum being Jamaican. Like my mum would be like, make sure your hair don't get messy and all of this stuff. So I'd be worrying, oh, I don't want to go home and my, my hair is messy and my mum's going to slap me. <laughs> or like get in trouble because I've got chlorine in my hair and I knew, and I didn't used to like getting my hair washed when I was younger. So I knew that was going to have to happen anyway because of the chlorine. A lot of other girls who have got natural hair are a bit more health conscious. So from the perspective of going into a pool where there's um, chemicals, there's chlorine, there's things that can be damaging to your skin, to your hair as well, that's something that can be taken into account. So that's definitely something that I can think of that maybe what, like females may not want to dive so much into the water. Okay, so me personally, I don't like putting my face in the water at all. So it's nothing to do with my hair. I just don't like that feeling of my face being underwater. Um, so I can swim and I can swim perfectly well, but above the surface. Um, I very rarely put my face in the water. So, but I'm not bothered about my hair as far as it getting wet or chemicals are concerned. My daughter, however, has very long Afro curly hair. She's very much has the black genes when it comes to her hair. And it's a nightmare, but I'm never gonna let that be the reason why she doesn't swim. that life jacket it's ridiculous just learn to swim i'm not gonna learn to swim what at this age with, with these heavy bones you know what they say about black people we can't swim we just drown it's not happening i can't swim we can't float let alone swim i'm black i can swim Most of my black friends do not swim, so it's a similar situation. They don't swim and I haven't done, and they just make excuses why they didn't go swimming at school when I was in primary school. And at secondary school, they don't have swimming lessons, so I guess that's one thing which just disappears. And I guess as you get older, you just don't do it. Um, it's a bit like kind of spiders. If you don't tell a child to be scared of a spider, it won't be scared of spiders, type thing. Yeah, yeah. If you don't tell a child they can't do something, if you, if you keep telling the child they can't do something, they're going to grow up thinking they can't do it. So, positivity. Is well. Hello, Frank. It's Mr. Society. <laughs> Look at all those faces, eh? Look at all them faces. All the non blacks can swim. You can't swim. Keep up the great work, Frank. Keep that life jacket on. Remember, you can't swim. As a black person, you need to be twice as good at anything to get half as far with swimming you need to be four times as good or you'll drown so what's the point eh <laughs> um, you know there's um 
you got the beach right there, yeah, so yeah. I like um, like doing a bit of swimming yeah. whilst I'm out there. So how's it going, guys? Been a while. Been a while. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. been a while. Back in the country now. Yeah, for a change. Yeah, yeah. for a change. Melbourne. You'll be in Melbourne. Yep. Yeah. Going next month. I'm gonna go swim with a jellyfish. <laughs> Oh well, you know I me. Mean? I'm just, I'm just chilling here, do my thing, you know. What's with the life jacket? Oh, not that again. You know, I can't swim, and you must have heard all the bad weather forecasts for flooding and all that kind of thing. All those forecasts are not. I, I just gotta protect myself. Um, the, the, uh, you know, I'm, I'm black. I mean, you know what they say about blacks and swimming. It's not part of our culture. It's not part of um, the heavy bones and all that. It Frank, it's a bit weird, isn't it? It is a bit weird, Frank. Yeah. Probably is, but yeah, but I'd hate if it keeps me alive, then any day. You've probably got more chance in drowning in that. Maybe you need to learn to swim, get someone to coach I don't know. you. I don't know. It don't might know. save someone's life. You might enjoy it. It's, it's not that bad. I don't know. It's, yeah, it's. Yeah, I can't swim. I've never really thought. Maybe I, society says, I can, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Well, your daughter can swim, Frank. Hmm. Yeah, she can. Yeah. She can. That's a good question. So if I, if I had children, would I want them to swim? Yes, definitely. And I think like with most sport, the earlier they start, the better. And when my kids were born, I was, I mean, I call my kids water baby because I spent so much time in the bath, splashing around. And when they were born, they took them swimming. It's, and all babies can swim. My daughter swims like a fish. Um, she's a brilliant swimmer, which is good. Is she, she didn't realize I couldn't swim until she was about five or six. Because I used to get in the pool with her. I used to get in the pool and splash and play and swim to me, swim to me. Um, so she had no clue until she kind of figured out, actually, you don't go past that point in the pool. <laughs> um, so I definitely think it's a generational thing, which has changed in my generation. So when I had my daughter, I absolutely wanted my daughter to swim and considered it to be an important life skill. But I don't think my parents really had the time. And, um, two daughters, one can swim and the other cannot, although she has any lessons. Uh, it's, I just think it's the exposure of swimming. My, my daughter goes, she went swimming at school and, you know, unlike my generation, we go abroad every year, a couple of times a year. So she's exposed to going to swimming pools and this more often than I was when I was her age. I feel like to get a lot of people my age to swim, you need to create more, more events to do a swimming, more promotion. Like, I don't know if they need to do like giveaways or like Insta promos or, a lot of promotion to deal with like swimming. If not, people actually not gonna catch on and what is like. If you ask saying people, do you know where a swimming pool is? Like, they don't have a clue. So things like that needs to come to light, like making posters about locations of swimming pools and events like that. If not, a lot of people wouldn't take part. Like you'd have to remove the stigma from black people can't swim or black people don't swim or just giving them kind of opportunities and just showing them ways that can help them to actually partake in swimming. So certain swimming hats, certain swimming. Even also another thing is that like body types as well. Different type of body types can be, you can be insecure about that. Being more open to like addressing things that kind of are specific for black people. We're all capable of swimming if we tried, yes. There is like things like fear and also um, stereotypes. Um, but once we see past those, that shouldn't really be stopping us from doing it now.
Were you a daughter can swim Frank? Hey Frank, what are you doing? No, remember what we agreed, keep that life jacket on. No! Hey, don't be a fool! No! What are you doing? No, remember, blacks can't swim! Blacks can't swim! Blacks can't swim! So here we are, and what a journey it's been. The journey's not over though, it's only the beginning. Taking it one step at a time, I'm taking one for the team. I'm doing this for the 200 people that died on Lake Victoria, Tanzania, where the ferry capsized 50 meters away from the port and they drowned as a result of not being able to swim. I'm doing this for my daughter. How could I ever save her if she was ever in trouble and I couldn't swim? I'm doing this for me. I mean, I'm sick and tired of being the one always looking after the towels and the bags on the beach whilst everyone else is out there having fun. And I'm doing this for you. All you non-swimmers out there, let's get in the pool. It's an official takeover. And to society, you probably can't see this, but I'm sticking two fingers up at you right now. You won't hold us back. Let's kill the stigma and the stereotype and yes, the myth. Hey, where's the pool party? Make a film called Black Can Swim Soundtrack in the New Jack Swing Cast the lead in a floating ring Is it a cultural or physical thing? You need representation to increase participation yeah. So, um, and like, I know when I, when I was younger it was always, um, I was quite surprised when I heard that like black people aren't meant to swim or like don't swim or like it, I never really like, I never really understood it I was like, well, why can't they? Like, it's, it's just it's water, like, mm. we, we, we humans can swim, like, yeah. they're meant to, they're meant to be able to swim, so, I've, yeah, I've heard people say, like, oh, when you go to a pool party with black people there, you'll, yeah. there's none of them in the pool and yeah. stuff like that, and, like, it's, <laughs> um, I don't know, like, I suppose it's all, like, personal service, just like, oh, I don't swim, like, the chlorine, like, makes our skin ashy, does, it does, it dries your skin out, ruins your hair, like we just said, yeah. and, um, and like the whole like stereotype behind black people not yeah. swimming and stuff as well. That stereotype is just oh, it just needs to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think I think we this is the beginning. I personally think this is the beginning of the end of the stereotypes, so. stigmas, and yeah. the myths. Hair. Um, I know you have grey hair, and and it's it's a big part of your appearance. And you probably heard that there's a lot of black women that use hair as an excuse as to why they don't swim. Yeah. What do you have to say about that? I think, I think from a, a woman's point of view, because the, the, the hair is, is very important, and, and the, as, the, it's, as their appearance, not just the hair, all aspects of their appearance. Um, and I've heard some genuine um, reasons, because I'm not a woman, and I know the hair can get messed up and all that. I've had experience with the hair thing, there's no doubt. Before, when I was first teaching swimming, I've been teaching since 1987, and growing my hair. My hair was very, very, it got long at one point, quite long to about, let's just say here, because I kept it uncovered. There was a, there was a period in time where people would ask me, have you, have you cut it, have you done this, have you done that, because it sort of went back up to here. But it was the chlorine that was eating it out. 
So I had to wear a swimming hat, and I wear a swimming hat all the time. So the water does affect it. The chlorinated water definitely affects the hair. Um, and I think maybe those people don't find swimming inviting enough to really for it to clash with their with their appearance. I think the first mistake that people make is that they think swimming is a physical activity. But the thought of swimming is it's a psychological activity. But when you go, for instance, you go you go into the pool, children, people that can swim, they'll just go underwater, mess about, do what they have to do, but they're comfortable. And that's what you want. So you want to be able to do to recognise swimming strokes. But the main thing is you want to enjoy the water. Because as human beings, we really do have a, a relationship. When you see a beautiful beach scene, wow, everybody's eyes open up. You still sell a, you can sell a, sell a holiday mm -hmm. for a couple of grand just by showing a picture of a beach. Off the beach it might be rubbish. Yeah. The place might be rubbish. But that's a beautiful beach, beautiful water. You want to get in there. And um, that's why I think people need to look at it more. Right, I say create a love for the water. Make a film called Black and Swim. Soundtrack in the new Jack Swing. Cast a lead in a floating ring. Is it a cultural or physical thing? Make a film called Black and Swim. Soundtrack in the new Jack Swing. Cast a lead in a floating ring. Is it a cultural or physical thing? Says my bones too heavy, don't float. So I guess I better stay on the boat. Lesson after lesson, still can't swim. Dry lose weight, my bones won't thin. Even in the shower, when I take a bath, my Gucci life jacket right by my side. Is this the reason I never learned to swim? Is it a myth that blacks can't swim? Do you spend hours on your hair just to get it wet? You don't understand that bet black girls get. Life jacket in jacuzzi with my boy sipping juice. Never took it off three weeks on a cruise. The pool party never was my thing. I can't represent in my bling But it's your party, you can swim if you want to I sleep dry cause I want to Make a film called Black and Swim Soundtrack in the new Jack Swing Cast a lead in a floating ring Is it a cultural or physical thing? Make a film called Black and Swim Soundtrack in the new Jack Swing Cast a lead in a floating ring Is it a cultural or physical thing? Box office hits, it's about to be a splash Like bolt on a hundred meter dash Booty love jacket everywhere I go Always play it safe cause you just don't They say my bones too dense, don't float So I wear my life jacket like a coat I Told my mama that I want to learn to dive She looked at me like I lost my mind Tanisha says she can't because her back too big Got a skews on my own, is that a myth? How the dream back strokes one gold Warm up the pool cause I don't like cold 70% of all blacks can swim The other 30 were well, just my six Hear the news how I almost learned to float Fake news, it's got to be a hoax Even on the bog, as a tank might flow Gucci life jacket make me feel in control I can't relax if I can't touch the ground Like the tiles on the road, I feel safe and sound BMW made a boat, I probably think about it 300 knots, M sports feel about it Make a film called Black and Swim Soundtrack in the new Jack Swing Cast a lead in a floating ring Is it a cultural or physical thing? Make a film called Black and Swim Soundtrack in the new Jack Swing Cast a lead in a floating ring